Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your Marrow General Surgery SS faculty. And it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Venu to all of you. He secured rank one in the minimally access exam of uh, INI SS. And the interesting bit is there was just one seat and he's got rank one. So he'll be the only one who will be getting that seat in AIMS uh, Delhi this year. Heartiest congratulations, Dr. Venu. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your wishes. <laughs> so, Dr. Venu, uh, you've been a postgraduate at AIMS Delhi. Yes, sir. Um, when did you start using the Marrow SS plan? And uh, please guide students who are interested in preparing for minimally access surgery. Yes, sir, definitely. So, uh, I did my MS from AIMS New Delhi only. And uh, I started preparing for uh, like for, uh, MS surgery topics only uh, from Marrow, sir, actually. I, I, was, uh, I was going through Sabishtan and Bailey also along with that. Mm. And uh, along with that, I, was, I used to revise your notes also at that same time only. Uh, and uh, uh, second thing, if uh, I want to suggest to want to read uh, or prepare for minimal access surgery, actually, uh, I think uh, they have to decide after their rotation, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. which branch they want to do. Uh, after that, uh, they will be having this thesis work in, uh, in AIMS actually. It, 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 it will be a little difficult to do that task in AIMS. So after that, uh, they have to decide that which branch they want to uh, do. And then in the day they have they finished their uh, thesis work, immediately they have to start preparing for uh, whatever superficiality branch they want to prepare. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's, it's better to uh, go through their basics uh, from their previous notes as whatever their notes they have and then it's better to go through uh, Sabishtan and Bailey the general part of uh, Bailey and uh, complete GA part of Sabishtan and uh, and obviously uh, your lecture lectures sir. Dr. Venu when did you decide that you wanted to do minimally access as soon as you finished with your uh, MS thesis? Uh, yes uh, that, that that is what I wanted to tell actually I also a bit confusion to which branch I have to choose. I was uh, roaming in the rotations, so I, I saw all those other branches also. Then I thought uh, uh, I came, I, I was working in the same department only, and I, I had a good exposure to uh, this minimal access procedures that they are doing. Uh, they do mm -hmm. some advanced laparoscopy procedures from like from thyroid to uh, till GI, uh, colon, uh, till uh, whatever they are like. So basically, then I realized that uh, I was I'm a bit passionate about doing things laparoscopically actually. So then mm -hmm. I, I used to have these sessions in AIMS uh, for uh, laparoscopic training also. So I used mm -hmm. to do the task. I, I was a bit happy after doing those things. And I used to get uh, one or two cases in the main OT, like elective OT only. And my consultant used to give me. <laughs> so then uh, I got a bit more uh, inclined towards minimal access surgery, sir, actually. <clears throat> Great. So, uh, during your post-graduation, you watched the videos, you read Sebastian, you read Bailey. Did you also do the Q-Bank from Marrow uh, at that time no, or did you do the no, Q-Bank recently? No, sir. Uh, there, there, will not, there, there will be not much, much time when you are doing your residency along with the thesis work and ward work. You will be much hmm. busy with your uh, all those ward work only. So, uh, I did MCQs on, uh, in the last uh, one month of this preparation only before this INS, 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 INS actually. Okay. Yes, right. So, uh, you were still working while you were preparing for INISS or uh, had you taken a break uh, before yes, preparation? Yes, I am still, I'm still working, sir. I am still working, in a, uh, working here only as a senior agent. Uh, right. I took like uh, 10, 20, 10 to 15 days of uh, gap before the exam. Like we need that spike to <laughs> uh, true, hit before true. the exam. No, yes, sir. That is definitely needed before going to any exam, actually. I think. <clears throat> so there is a lot of overlap between minimally access surgery and GI surgery. So mm -hmm. what, uh, what should one keep in mind regarding uh, which branch to choose, GI surgery or minimally access surgery? What should be the points which a resident should keep in mind? Uh, that is what sir. I previously I was telling which branch you want to do in the future, like uh, where you want to settle down and which kind of procedures you want to do in the future. Those things will definitely matter to decide the branch, sir. Actually, uh, mm -hmm. so if you are more inclined towards uh, uh, liver transplant, it's better to go for GI surgery. And if you mm -hmm. want to restrict your uh, surgical procedures towards the benign conditions of uh, GI, GI tract and uh, hepatobiliary hernia. 
uh, so it's better to take uh, minimal axis surgery minimal yes. okay so basically uh, barring onco and barring liver transplant uh, you would be doing most of the uh, work of gi but if somebody is interested in onco and the uh, liver transplant part then they should think about gi surgery uh, not definitely onco but sir because we used, we de- we are doing onco part of gi surgery also here in minimal access okay. uh, the general mm-hmm. surgery department here actually so uh, yes definitely i would just, i would like to say that if you want to do liver transplant it's better to go for uh, gi surgery. gi surgery perfect all right so while preparing for the minimally access part you said that you read bailey sebastian you watched the videos of general surgery yeah. are there some videos from the gi surgery part also which you focused on for the exam from marrow ss uh, yes sir i have grown to this gi part of gi modules of our uh, this marrow videos sir actually mm-hmm. uh, in that uh, um, i have gone through uh, esophagus figures like it it will be difficult to understand ecclesia actually from the sebastian <laughs> so it's better right. to go go to go through those videos and the hepatobiliary part definitely how to see like um, we extensively do hepatobiliary here so we have to go through it and pancreas also and uh, if you have time you can go through colon also sir large bowel and small bowel so dr venu suggestion for everyone who is interested in minimally access you watch the general surgery videos but you also need to watch the uh you also need to watch the videos from gi surgery yeah. and these gi surgery videos as he mentioned you need to watch the esophagus videos the hepatobiliary videos you need to uh you need to watch uh for the exam as well mm-hmm. now uh when it comes to the interview part what were the questions which were asked in the interview part uh when you were selected dr venu sir uh, they routinely ask these questions only like uh, Know, what kind of exposure you have in your ms actually, ms uh, general surgery and uh, what kind of uh, thesis topic you got uh, when you are doing your ms and uh, if you have any publications uh, you will be having a bit more uh, adv- points towards it and uh, uh, those things only are then they will ask some practical things about uh, if you are doing uh, lab hernia repair or lab cholecystectomy then uh if you face any difficulty how you will handle that uh, particular step of that surgery they will ask those kind of clinical scenarios sir and then if it is more deep then they will go into clinical scenarios the post operative day so on so and patient had this kind of uh, output and some so things and all and they will give some clinical scenarios sir basically okay yes. and uh, you know last year when i was talking to other uh, candidates who were preparing for uh, this branch or had got a rank they had suggested uh, studying the sages manual as well definitely yeah, Now, i want to tell you sir that yes so they are quite bulky and a lot of there is a lot of overlap with general surgery part there as well so yes. how would you recommend somebody who's interested in this branch to approach the sages manual uh yes sir we have to go through those sages manual from line to line sir from first page to last page actually Uh, uh it will be a bit difficult and bit diffi- boring in the starting parts of that general, general part of that minimal access surgery actually then you have to read those things definitely before uh, minimal access to clear minimal access surgery sir, actually uh, there will be a, like uh, there will be a lot of questions coming from the basic basics of uh, laparoscopic surgery actually and then they will right. co- correlate the advanced laparoscopic surgery procedures from the sages manual and the they were co- correlated the same topic from the sabistan and bailey sir actually okay so they have to go through these those yeah. two volumes of uh, the sages manual definitely sir definitely perfect perfect so great uh, dr venu thank you for taking out time and discussing this i think so this is a branch which uh, you know students are often confused between gi surgery and minimally access you've cleared that doubt and you've t- given a very clear instruction regarding how to prepare so any uh, final uh, words of wisdom from your side to future aspirants uh, who are going to appear for the INSS exam yes sir definitely uh, I, as i previously mentioned that they have to decide their uh, branch whatever branch they want to uh, take and then they start uh, they should start the preparation as early as possible sir and uh, then they have to read like i definitely I, i i used to tell my juniors also you have to go through sabistan line to line the general part of the sabistan is very important every table is very important and uh, sab- gi part of sabistan every line we have to go through it 
every line we should read it read it the twice thrice we should go through it and obviously for minimal access surgery you have to read cover to cover of sages from volume 1 and 2 sir so in the questions in the iiss exam did they even ask about trials and did they even ask about studies sir definitely they will ask the trials sir, regarding uh, uh, colony trial color trial and uh, uh, regarding cross and classic trial these kind of question they used to ask previously but this session they were not uh, such kind of questions regarding trials actually but they will definitely ask the questions regarding the trials and they will definitely going to ask the uh, questions regarding statistics sir one or two questions from the statistics also and what the questions like uh, i was discussing with the breast and endocrine person and they said that they had questions from trauma and the mcq portion yes. so what the uh, trauma questions in your set as well yes sir definitely sir we will be having questions from breast and endocrine because uh, there will be a lot of uh, uh, more focus uh, uh, for, for the thyroid and breast procedures in the in middle actually the general surgery department only so they will ask questions from trauma and breast and endocrine uh, breast and thyroid sir actually we have to go through those questions it better to go from swash sir actually for the breast and para thyroid and parathyroid mm -hmm. and uh, for uh, mm, for min minimal axis uh, uh, minimal axis thing we have to read uh, sages volume one perfect yes. great thank you very much uh, dr venu and hardiest congratulations once again uh, great rank and you've recently got married as well so congratulations on that i think so good uh, time to celebrate uh, take some time off before you start your course all the best thank you thank you, thank you so much sir thank you <laughs> all right thank you thank, thank you very much thank you also sir it's very uh, great to talk to you sir regarding my success actually <laughs> thank you thank you very much dr thank, thank you, you sir. thank you so much thank you